So you want to know how to duplicate USB drives in bulk without spending thousands on a dedicated machine because you don't do it often enough. Just every now and then you're going to want to just run off, say 50 copies. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it for 30 quid. Now I've said we can solve this problem for 30 quid because that's what I did. I went for this Orico hub, but whichever one you go for, you want to make sure that it's at least a USB 3. That's the one with the blue USB plug. And also make sure your media that you're copying, your USB sticks are USB 3 as well, because there's no point in going for those cheap USB 2 ones because they're going to take forever to copy and you're going to regret it. So USB 3 all around. Now when it comes to an app that's going to handle the duplication, I've tried a few different different variations and the one that I've settled on is called Image USB and that is a free download from passmark.com and I'm going to include the link to download that in the description area. So let's start off by making the master. So once you've downloaded Image USB, you'll have this folder and it doesn't actually add it to your start menu or the taskbar. Uh, so if we open the folder and we run image USB, it doesn't open an installer, you're just straight into the program. You might wanna just right click and choose pin to the taskbar. You can see here that it can see my master and that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna create an image from our master USB drive. So we need to select that. Now I've got the USB hub turned off at the moment so that we haven't got a list of 13 devices. I just wanna concentrate on the master at this stage. So here it is. I've only put a two gigabyte stick in there just so that we can get through this quicker. I've selected the master. I've chosen create image from USB drive. I've chosen post image verification. That just makes sure that when we've written the master file, it matches the source exactly. So we know we've got a perfect copy. We need to choose a location for the master file. So you can see here, I've already got master bin file. So this is what I'm going to write as my master file. Now that I've got that, I'm going to click on create. Now this thing is very good in that it always warns you all the things that we've just chosen. I'm quite happy with those and I don't want it to tell me again. So I'm just going to say yes. Now it's warning me that I'm overwriting master.bin and I'm happy with that as well. So I'm going to hit yes. And now you get the progress meter here. Okay, now the verification doesn't take very long, so it's always best to choose that. It's gonna go through and make sure it's happy. And then you get this really subtle message here to say that the imaging is complete. So now I'm going to unplug my master. And if we hit refresh, you'll see there's nothing there at all. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is power up my hub, which has got USB sticks plugged into it. And you'll hear everything going crazy as it lists all of the drives over here and gives them all a letter. And now hopefully when I hit refresh, we'll see drives. So I hit refresh and I'm gonna make this window a bit bigger so you can see all of the drives. So there we go. So we've got 12 sticks. So now we've gone from creating the image, we're now ready to write the image to the USB drive. So now we're gonna tick this box. I'm going to leave post image verification on. So now I'm going to select all. You can see here that it's pointing to our master that we created in the last step. And now we're gonna hit right. So one thing I have to say as a warning here is as you're about to hit go on your duplication run, make sure you haven't got any other USB devices or anything that goes through a USB port connected because you may accidentally have that ticked. So it could be that you've got say an external hard drive and if that is plugged into the system at the same time you're about to do a duplication run, it could be in that list. I would just make sure anything, any data that you value that's plugged in by USB, just unplug it before you start this because even if you're mindful of it on the first run, it could be on the second run you forget and you wipe out something really important. I've come very close to doing that. So I'm going to say that is fine. All of these drives can be overwritten. You tick that, say yes. And now this is the final warning. This is a good point to make sure that all of these are the same size. They're all 7.5s, they're all the same name, and we're confident now that we can go ahead, so I'm gonna hit yes. Now, one of the strange things you'll notice is that they don't all write at the same speed. You think all things being equal, they would all get an even data rate. Just to give you an idea of how long this takes, I had to do a run of 50 copies of eight gigabyte sticks. Probably took a couple of hours. 
Now it's worth noting here that this post image verification is not essential. This is just for peace of mind. You might decide that you've got loads to do. You've done one run without any problems and you don't want to do the post image verification. So that's fine. What I found is if the writing fails, it's because the USB stick is faulty as they come in as complete. The others speed up a little bit because there's not so much data going through the USB. So now we've finished. You can see it is proudly announcing that imaging is complete. So once all of these copies are finished, you can now unplug all of those USB sticks, plug all of the new ones in and then hit refresh and you're ready to do the next batch. Now what you might find is that when you plug in your next set of USB sticks, if the hub is on, they might not all light up. So what you need to do in this case is plug them all in, turn off the hub, turn it back on again, hit refresh here and you're ready to write your next batch.